Hey what's up everybody, it's Hightower 93 here in Golden Eye Reloaded. I'm going to show you how to get the 7 air dossier. I think they say it, 7 air, 7 air, something like that. But it's the fourth mission in the game and you won't come across any secondary objectives until you see this cutscene. I should give you a brief glimpse of this and then speed up the next part where you wake up. So he moves his hands, looks around. And the first secondary objective is actually right behind you as soon as you come back and control your character. I didn't I was kind of looking around first, but all you need to do is knock the lock off these little boxes. So that's the first one. The second one is just underneath the bridge, which is like 10 seconds ahead of where I just was. So I want you to deal with all the people over here. Instead of following the objective marker, just go into this little tunnel just on the left before it, and there's a supply crate with sniper rifles in it. That's the second one. The third one is, once again, shortly up ahead. You'll drop down somewhere, and you'll see this overturned truck right in front of you, and the audio is really off here. Better capture card, but anyway, um, you want you want to deal you deal with all the people around here, and then the third weapons crate is on the other side of this overturned truck, which is a Agog Scope Sigmas. The fourth one is just up ahead, and in the middle of a crossfire zone. You go from this burning house, a couple of guys deal with them, go past them, so try to sneak up on these guys, and then just give up halfway through. And and the fourth weapons crate is underneath the stairs over here. Shoot the lock on the stairs. Shoot the lock on the box, even. There's a science weapon there. And once you pick this up, there's another side objective nearby to collect the black box from the, clash, the crashed plane, which is just right next to this building, in fact. So if you go out, you go through the store, go on the right, and it's just right in the corner over here, there's a little orange box. There it is. Pick this up. That's another side objective there. And then the next one, just up ahead, there was a look for a watchtower. It was the one I just climbed down, I thought it was up there. It was in the barracks, there's another weapons cache. Got one of the weapons box, whatever. Shoot the lock off that. And then the final one, you won't encounter until after the crossfire, you come out to this area. It's like the final area, so there's a sniper right in front of you when you drop down. But I picked the sniper up first. And then I'll speed this up, I went off, killed a couple of guys before remembering the road back there. So you go back, so back over here, so as you drop down, essentially, you, when you come out of the fans, you go straight to your right, and there's a silent, no, a normal sniper rifle over here, and that's the final one, so, for the outside area, so this is once we're inside the facility, as you're coming down the stairs, you'll see a couple of guys here, take this guy out quickly, and then I went around the corner to deal with these guys quickly, so, we'll have to open them later, but the first bomb is right at the bottom of the stairs, um, the wall there, it's hard to miss, and then just overhead, I go through this room, Clear them all out. And then there's a little room at the back. You have to go through this door over here. There's three guys in here, but they're fairly easy to take out because they're all standing still. So just straight ahead shots, kill all these guys in here. And then get this phone out and take a picture of this and these um, documents on the table here. So once you've done that, then there's another bomb very close nearby. So we go through here quickly and quickly take out, try to deal with all the people in here quickly. Then it worked quickly quite a lot. But yeah, so once I've dealt with all the guys in here, there's another room just to my right. Pick up this weapon. Go in here and try to remain stealthy. Fuck up. And then after, yes, so then I have to kill all the guys in this room. And then once you've dealt with everyone, the bum is over here. Just in the corner. The next bomb you won't encounter until after you pick up the night vision goggles and you go for the dark room. So once you've done that and you open this door, you see like two guys walk past, you take them out, you go for the door, take it, take them both out and then go to your left and the bomb is on the wall over here. So the next one, this is shortly ahead, you go for this burning room and it's a few guys. When you come through, you'll see one guy there punching something and you'll see one guy looking at a table over there. The side objective is on that table, but I just go over here, take this guy out first. And then go back over here, get your smartphone out and take a picture. So then the next one, this is another bomb. Once you come to the bottom of this big room, there's a holographic globe to my right, you can't actually see it, but there's a bomb on the wall over here. Diffuse that. And then go up the stairs over here. Just immediately left, and there's a couple more guys up here to take out first. 
deal with these guys. And then there is something else to take a picture of. I couldn't spot it first. Put my phone, and there it is. So then, the next one, we should deal with the two guys at the holographic globe. This is still in the same room, we just went back downstairs. And there's something else to take a picture of on the wall over, on the thing over here. And then, as, pretty much, as you get, this is, once again, right near where I just was. As you're going down here, instead of going on your left here, go around here, there's another guy. Deal with him. And the last bomb that you have to defuse is on the wall over here. And then this is after the survival bit, once you're on the second floor of that room where you survived. Go in here, into the little rocket thing, and there's something else. And this is the final second of your objective. You take a picture of this, and then once you finish the level, you'll get your get the Servanea dossier achievements, which is worth 30g for completing all side objectives on 007 difficulty or higher. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep your eyes open for the guys on the other levels in Goldeneye. Thanks for watching. In Goldeneye.